Good morning, Facebook. Hey, shout out to my replay viewers. I hope you guys are having a wonderful... What's the day? What is today? What's today's date, y'all? Is it Tuesday? Wednesday? Huh? It's Wednesday already? Lord, Lord, Lord. It's Wednesday already. Can y'all see all of that? Uh, I, can't, I have to move the stuff because I can't move the... Thing. Hey there, Curtis. Hopefully I can see you guys as you guys come in. So here's my all of my ingredients. Hey, Lorraine. Here's all of my ingredients plus my melted butter. Slide that in there. I hope you guys can see that. Come down a little bit more. I'm trying to get in the camera here. I'm using my overhead, so. Hanging out in the kitchen. I came in and get some breakfast. And I said, you know what, Yolanda? Go ahead and make these daggone cookies because I've been trying to make these cookies now for two weeks. Okay, I'm serious. So I'm trying to get some, I've got some melted butter here. Is that in the shot? Yeah, I can't tell. The egg, I can't tell. I see the egg. That's the egg. Okay, so y'all can't see. Hold on. I, I, I'm trying to not to move my setup here. Hey, Todd Kelly. So I'm getting ready to make these cookies. We're going to cook up some buzz and some cookies. Okay, we're going to talk about everything that's going on. Everybody already knows I'm live from Atlanta. Half of you, more than half of you probably are also here with me in Atlanta. You know, it's been a lot of buzz going on. Let me grab a bowl. Um, what I'm making here, let me give you guys the book, if you guys can see that. Oh, man, look at that cookie on there. These are the Aisha Curry. Um, you know, today is This Ain't That Book Club. And we usually get lit with leftovers. So I'm going to show you the leftovers that we made yesterday. But what we try to do is we try to pair a book. Because I also have a book club. I know. It's like all this stuff. But it's a virtual book club. It's called This Ain't That Book Club. I ain't trying to meet up with nobody. I ain't trying. I'm just trying to help out a couple of authors. And plus, I mean, being a writer myself and an author myself of 27 Answers to Create Buzz. Uh, hopefully y'all can see that. I know that was kind of quick, right? 27 S's to create buzz. I'm going to turn it this way. Hey, see Rob. So, tag. Yeah, this is this is weird. Okay, there we go. All right. So, that is my book, which you can get on Amazon. It's always available on Amazon. The ebook, you want to download the ebook and all that stuff, that's out there as well. Um, as well as some of the additional books that I wrote to go with that. Additional chapters that became books on their own as I was working on the second book. Because um, that's what I do all day when I'm not hanging out here in the kitchen or going out on the scene. I am working with entrepreneurs kind of behind the scenes to help them create buzz. And I started an amazing group. And we're off to a great start. We're now uh, heading into the third week. Uh, it, it aligns along with Thursday Night Football where I'm helping businesses get in the game of branding and marketing and uh, really learning to craft their story because that's what it takes to garner a following on social media and then helping them to turn that following into lifetime customers. I'm, I don't work with people who just want a customer here and there. I want you to build lifetime um, businesses, become growth firms and all that kind of stuff and legacies for your family. Speaking of family, so this is a book that I have, one of the books that we chose in the book club, and this is the, let me see if I can get that in there, this is the, I'm sorry, you know what, let me go ahead and move my ingredients, do I want to move my ingredients, this is the Aisha Curry uh, cookbook, and I love this book, and I love it in my kitchen, but I didn't want to have it just as a prop. I wanted to be able to open it up and cook, make some of the dishes that she makes. Now, she got an athletic husband, and they're a very healthy family. So, I'm not going to totally rebuke the recipe of the cookie. I'm just not going to put it in the flaxseed, all right? Her, her cookies have flaxseed, and her recipes have other disguised healthy stuff. Uh, but she did say go in with that brown sugar, some eggs, and some butter. She didn't say, you know, she did unsalted butter. Um, some other things. No, actually, that's the only thing we're rebuking in the recipe is the flaxseed. Um, she does talk about the chocolate chips. We're adding in some nuts because nuts are healthy. So we got some pecans. Uh, we're going to put in some pecans. So that's not rebuking the recipe. That's adding. So we're replacing her flaxseed, Curtis, with pecans. Okay. <laughs> She does use kosher salt, all-purpose flour, uh, a little bit of vanilla extract, some melted butter, and some room temperature butter, and then just one egg. That, you know what I love about this is these are the things that I had on hand. I had the brown sugar on hand. 
added in, I had to literally buy the um, pecans and the um, ch chocolate chip, the all-purpose flour, vanilla, the salt. The, I had to get some more baking soda. Even though I had baking soda in the fridge, I was like, wait a minute, that baking soda is serving another purpose. I don't want to cook with that. So I went out and I bought some, um, some baking soda. So now I have a box. I have a box of baking soda just for my baking. And I'm not a baker. I'm not a uh, cupcake maker. I am just a home cook, a, a blogger getting back in the kitchen. And one thing good, one thing that's good about life that I have studied about society from um, before the uh, Depression era to now is it was always a luxury um, to have something sweet in your house. You know, to have sugar on hand or flour on hand or, or all the added ingredients. And we have generations out there that don't know that struggle life. They don't know that struggle life. Like our kids, they don't know that struggle. They don't know having one thing or less of this or none of that. You know, they don't know. It's like everything that they want, we give them. And we give them that. And, and their grandparents give them that because of what life was for them. They don't, I mean, like my daughter, you know, came in, she was reading off the recipe, and I'm like, okay, grab this, grab that. And to have all of this on hand, you know, when they were younger, you know, no. <laughs> we weren't about to go in here. And we, actually, I did bake a lot, you know. Our kids are just blessed, and they need to know that they're blessed. But they will only know that unless we have the discussions, you know, like even though I'm talking about um, Aisha Curry's soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies, we got to also think about this book that we have, The Bear Coons. Okay. I, Aisha Curry, can we celebrate the fact that uh, Aisha Curry is on the cookware aisle? And you know what? And she's about to. I don't even know if she's still on the aisle. Because I saw a lot of her stuff at Target on clearance. And I'm like, why is Aisha Curry? I'm going to go ahead and grab my bowl here. Because I am literally going to make cookies. Um, and we're talking about the leftovers we made yesterday. I'm, I'm trying to figure out why did Aisha Curry... Sorry about that. I forgot to put my D&D &D on. I got a phone call, so hopefully we're back. All right, so basically what I have here, I have a recipe. And let me put the cookies on here. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep talking about it, but there's the cookie. Hopefully my cookie comes out looking like that. I'm going to grab my cookie sheet. I'm going to put these on some parchment paper. It's a very simple recipe. Uh, I have This is the first thing that I'm making out of her cookbook. I hope to... I really hope had hoped to... Um, challenged myself on a number of other recipes and while I was talking I was basically trying to let my butter here get to room temperature because you have to use um, a third of a cup of room temperature butter as well as a third of a cup of melted butter so and then I've got a cup of well-packed brown sugar I'm using light brown sugar uh, she says dark brown sugar, and you know they say the darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. So I guess that goes for sugar too. So I'm just gonna move, make enough room here to bring the bowl in. There's our bowl, and then some of our ingredients. I'm gonna grab some other things here. That I but I still make time. I was like, look, this is the life that I want. I want to be in my cook, in my kitchen making cookies out of Aisha Curry's cookbook. How often have I said I got a cookbook over here? Let me show y'all the. Let me show y'all the yin to the yang. Okay. This cookbook right here. Look at this cookbook. Look this it. one. Petty, baby, stop. Mrs. Wilkes' uh, boarding house cookbook, right? This book right here talks about the history of Southern cooking, okay? And one of the reasons I ended up with this cookbook is because I bought... No, I'm finna eat my chocolate. What is you talking about? She trying to... Petty, Betty over here behind me trying to... What are other... Uh, cookbook oh this one foodimentary see everything has a trail let me try and grab this other book y'all without knocking down everything behind the camera here okay because of, i read in this cookbook instead of saying they call black women uh pre-civil war cooks and i was like what the hell is a pre-civil war cook right and i was like because all the pre-civil war cooks i know were slaves right so, uh, from this book, from reading that line and how they tried to use the words, I said, let me go find a cookbook that talks about Southern cooking. And I was led to this when I went to uh, Douglasville Books. They have, they have um, it's a bookstore where people go and trade their books. But when I opened this book, and I don't know what, I'm going to try to do it like that. When I opened the book, y'all, look at that. 
This is her. These are all her cooks. Okay? That's what I, I saw when I opened the book. Right? When I opened the book. Ooh, the butterbees. Now, butterbees are my favorite. But then I'm looking at the pictures. And I opened the book. And I'm like, why was I led to this book? Why was I led to this book? Let me see. I'm trying to get to another case. I won't have to move the thing so much. Boarding house cooking. I started looking at the pictures and I'm like, whoa, look at the hands. Right? So that led me. So this is, but this is the cover, right? Of her and her boarding house. Wait a minute. Let me see that plate. Let me do my leftovers on that plate. Patty Betty just came in here. You know, we get lit with leftovers. These are the leftovers. We did the broccoli, um, we did the broccoli challenge yesterday with some broccoli, mushrooms, onions, and noodles, and beef. So we did a broccoli and beef. That's lit with leftover. Petty Betty came right over here and microwaved a bowl and didn't even fix me one. But that's all right. She, that's, that's blessed. That's an emphatically happy black woman coming here and make lunch while I'm making cookies. All right. So lit with leftovers. And why we call it lit with leftovers is because we do, um, we do come in, we try to match a cookbook. Well, not a cookbook, we try to match a book. That picture reminds me of Paula Dean, how she had a black woman who was doing all the cooking. Exactly, and that cookbook is from Savannah. So Paula Dean is from Savannah. That book, Mrs. Wilkes' Boarding House, also talks about the history of Savannah cooking. And when you open the book, then you see what the history of Savannah cooking is. But see, we'll get to the point, we'll, we'll let them change up the narrative so as if we are not even in there. Uh, and that's why I wanted to support Aisha and that's why we're going to cook through her cookbook. Can y'all see that? And then I didn't even like, what I don't like about this is they've got Aisha, but then they've got her family all blurred behind her. And I'm like, why? But you have to do what you have to do. You Some some have to do what they have to do. I don't have to do what I, they, I don't have to do what folk have to do. All right, so, but again, while we're here chit-chatting, we're going to be making these cookies. There we go. I got my stuff out of the way. Don't those cookies look good? Okay, so hopefully mine will turn out the same way. Uh, we're not rebuking the recipe. She has flax seeds. We're adding pecans. All right. So in this bowl, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding it. We'll continue to talk. But this book right here, uh, it's like I said, it's kind of started it all. This book tells about what foods are celebrated each day. So if I looked in here, what's the day? Like the 17th or something? September. I think it's the 17th. Apple Dumpling Day. And then it tells you, um, and tomorrow is cheeseburger day. Ooh, we might do sliders again. Um, okay, and if you want to do, if you want to do um, cheeseburger day, go check out the sliders I did. Talk about leftovers. Even though I made that broccoli cast, that broccoli uh, challenge, I still ate a cheeseburger. I had one slider left. Okay, so let's look at the recipe. Uh, the soft and chewy, I'll put that back under here so you guys can screenshot if you want to try this recipe. So, the, is it better if I go this way? That gives you more on there. Okay, the soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies is calling for one-third cup unsalted butter. Again, while I'm sitting here trying to let my butter get to room temperature. Uh, one-third cup of unsalted butter at room temperature. And that's about five teaspoons. Uh, one-third cup bu um, butter melted. Then you got one cup, here's our, here's our melted butter, okay? And then here's our butter I'm trying to let get to room temperature. Then it's gonna call for one packed cup of brown sugar. It says dark, but I was, we used the dark, unfortunately, yesterday in the recipe, and so we had to use the light today. Hopefully that doesn't hurt the sweetness. And it probably will lighten it up a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, one large egg beaten, so I have my egg here, so I'm going to go ahead and whip that up. We'll get the egg going in our little bowl here. As we work to become the emphatically happy black woman. Let me see here. And guys, also, um, this is probably going to be one of the last live cooking streams that I'm going to do on my personal profile. I did my stream last night making the uh, 
Uh oh, wait, let me do that in there for you. So I'm just whipping up one egg, one large egg. I went live last night, and you, um, I sent out a couple of invites for you guys to like the Dryer Buzz Eats page because I want to do it on there. Um, and then we've got one teaspoon, this is, of my vanilla. So one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm gonna, I've got my teaspoon there. I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna get my vanilla when I get ready to move this out of the way. So there's my vanilla. So we're gonna do one teaspoon of vanilla. And then it's asking for a half teaspoon, no, a cup and a half. One cup and a half of all purpose flour. I have the flour. And then we're gonna do one half teaspoon of baking soda. And that's gonna help that react. And we had a little bit of a baking soda, baking powder. I actually bought baking powder. And I kept trying to think, was it the same? Now, remember, because we always use baking soda in the fridge just to deodorize. Um, and I was like, I better go buy some just for baking. So, and then a half teaspoon of kosher salt. We already got our kosher salt there, so I'll be doing a half teaspoon of that. And then two heaping tablespoons of flaxseed. We're not doing flaxseed. We're going to do pecans. So all these pecans are going to go in there. So we're going to have a, basically a pecan chocolate chip. And then she used one cup of the chocolate chips. So we've got some chocolate chips there. And even though she only calls for a cup, we're going to have some left over. Um, and then, of course, flaky sea salt such as, okay, just she puts a little salt, sea salt as a garnish kind of on top of her cookie. And that's a cookie recipe. Basically, uh, generically, flour and sugar, flour, sugar, and a little egg makes a cookie with a little butter. Um, and then you kind of take it whatever direction. So you can basically pull this back. And if you want to do a peanut butter cookie and those kinds of things, I'm trying to get to where I can just come in and make something sweet. I've learned how to make a you know chocolate cake with a couple of ingredients. Um, you know, with the cocoa powder, I have learned how to do uh, just an instant cobbler. You know, because I remember we, I mean, most of us grew up with that baker in the family that used to always, I know my grandmother always used to have something sweet. My grandmothers always had something sweet, you know, because they were always, my one of them was always doing those church teas and the other one, you know, we always, every time you went to her house, she had something sweet. And I think because they came through the Depression era, um, they just had a different lifestyle than we have now. And how I ended up at this point is, one, just trying to dial back some of the convenience. And now, can you make brownies? Yes. Actually, you know, when I was um, playing around with the chocolate cake, the different variations of chocolate cake, one of them, um, the four-ingredient one, actually ended up more of a brownie than a cake the first time we made it. I was like, wait a minute, this is kind of a brownie consistency. And the funny part about it is when you buy the instant recipe, the box stuff, if you look at the box, if the box tells you, a lot of times when you go out and you buy a box, it tells you what? Add an egg, right? Add some butter or oil, right? And um, and a few other things. So really, the only thing that's in the box is a flour, flour and sugar mix, right? You add milk, you add oil, you might add water, and those kinds of things. If it's a rest, if it's a box recipe that says add water, then it's still got all of this stuff in it, just in a dehydrated form. So why not just simply start from flour, right? And there's my there's my flour there. And one lesson I'm having is when to use all-purpose flour versus self-rising flour. And I've done a self-rising flour cookie, and that does not make a cookie. It makes a nice little cake of a cookie. And the family actually enjoyed it because what I normally do when I experiment with this stuff, I just leave it on the stove. They'll, they'll rebuke it at first, but then next thing you know, they'll finally give it a taste and actually enjoy it. So, uh, and then to preheat my oven at 375, so let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to just check the oven, make sure there's nothing in there. Uh, line two baking sheets with parchment paper. So we're going to need two. So we, I think this makes about 12 cookies. So I think we're going to end up with about six cookies on each. And I'm going to tell you, honey, parchment paper, if you want to 
If you do bake you like I do. So what I'm gonna do, sorry guys, bear with me, I'm trying to get my cookie sheets out. All right, so I'm gonna take, I guess that is the coating on there. I'm gonna have to toss one of them bad boys. So I'm gonna take my cookie sheets over here. I just bought a new batch of uh, parchment paper because I was out of parchment paper. And you know, if you've been following me, we used to set off the smoke alarm. When I make brownies, I usually make from scratch. I found a really nice recipe. I know, doesn't scratch taste so much better? Um, one thing I learned about cooking with the parchment paper is try not to have a lot of extra when you line your pans because when you pull that smoking paper out of the oven, um, then that's what kind of, that is what starts, sets off your smoke alarm. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of paper here and get my thing lined here. And I really, really, truly, 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 in fact, I'm just going to fold that and just sit that there in the middle of my pan because it's too wide. And reading the recipe, it looks like we're going to probably put about six cookies on each one. The recipe says it will make 12. So my pan's ready over there. My oven is preheating, and there's a cloud coming up. It's getting dark in here. All right, and then it says, in a large bowl, mash together the softened uh, and melted butter. See, I didn't understand that. Add the brown sugar and mix well. So we're going to go in with the salted butter, and I'm going to try and do this without a mixer. Um, hopefully my butter is salted here. I had a spoon. Might have to, might have to, uh, I guess maybe if my melted butter was still kind of hot. It said melted. In a large bowl, mash together the softened and melted butter. Add the brown sugar and mix well using a hand spatula. Let me grab my spatula here. Patty Betty, you want to get in on it? Patty Betty is headed off to uh, where? Billy. Oh, there's a website somebody just, um, Visit Philly. I think it said visitphilly.com. Patty Betty's heading to Philly to see Bruno Mars, y'all. Nah. So now we're going to add in our, and I'm trying to do this where I end up since I don't have my, give me the other phone pictures. Is it over there on the table? Let me grab a photo of this, guys. I keep forgetting. I'm using my good phone. Is it dead? 8%. Okay, come on, snap this for me right quick. Just go on the um, video and just get a little bit of a, uh, get a picture right quick of this. Same as always. Another one. Eight. And then I go to the photo. And then I got I got the picture, but I might need the video. Can I do that? Then just do a video when you put in the sugar in. Come up to this thing there. All right, so apparently I'm supposed to be able to mix this together. Ooh, the butter is nice and soft. Here, I need a, um, can you give me, this is a cup and a half of the flour. So wait, in a large bowl and mix together well or get your kids to do it, you can't go wrong. Mix in the egg and the vanilla. Okay, so we're gonna mix in, get this mixed in good. And you know what? I don't know what mix looks like. This is my first time making cookies like this from scratch. That's what mix looks like. Oh, this spatula is working perfectly.
So we're looking for our cookie dough consistency. I thought it was slow motion for a minute. Oh no, I was um, trying to get the picture on the other device. So Curtis, you are a baker, I see. I mean, there's just nothing better than having something sweet in the house. I'll tell you that much. This works out pretty good, huh? Would y'all say that's kind of incorporated almost? I got a couple of spots of butter in there. Now, ooh, what if we was to take some of this cookie dough and make some ice cream? Oh, stop. Now I see. We see the lustrous of the cookie dough. All right, and then it says, add the brown sugar and mix well by hand using a spatula. Mix in the egg and the vanilla. So next, we're going to go with the egg. I need to get a photo. And then a video. And so, wait, it says mix in the egg and the vanilla. And remember, my vanilla, my vanilla was, what, a tablespoon? Let me see. One teaspoon of vanilla. One lesson I have learned, Curtis and others, is do not, do not, do not go over on the vanilla. If it, whatever it says on that vanilla, that's what you need. Don't try to do more. You know how we always think when we make it from scratch, oh, I'm going to add just a little bit of extra of this. No, let's see. Yeah, I enjoy baking. I learned by watching my mom. Awesome. All right, let's see. One teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm not going to go over on the vanilla. That's my one teaspoon. So we're going to go just enough. Hopefully we have just enough. No extra on that vanilla because it can change the taste of your entire dish. You know, if you do too much vanilla, sometimes it can give you a little bit of a bitterness. Make sure I get that one. You guys, can y'all see? There's my phone right there. I'm doing a uh, photo. And then I'm just going to get me a little piece of video of me dropping that vanilla in there. There we go. All right, the secret to make the perfect chocolate chip and peanut butter cookies is not to over mix. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think, you know, I think you're right because you want kind of what a gritty, when you think about some of the better cookie dough, you want kind of that grittiness. I see what you're saying on that. Right, okay. Because I'm looking at this consistency here of this sugar, and yeah, I don't want like cakey, I, wanna, I want it to still be kind of, um, you know, that gritty, grittiness. And I think that's why she calls for the, heavier brown sugar. You see that butter just pop up out of there? All right, so you said not to over mix, so I'm not gonna do too much. All right, mix in the egg and the vanilla and then add the flour and the baking, flour, baking soda and salt. Uh, mix until crumbly dough forms. All right, now this is where I'm gonna worry here. I'm gonna do, do the flour. Normally I would sift in the flour, but because of the cookie dough, I'm not going to, because I want that rough cookie dough, I'm not gonna sift it in because that's gonna take it to that cake consistency that we don't want. So I'm gonna go, uh, and I gotta do one and a half. We're making 12, since so it makes 12 large cookies or 24 small cookies. So I'm gonna go one and a half on all-purpose flour. So let me do one. And like I said, I don't think I want to sift this. For so those of you coming in, we're making cookies, and we, yep, we're still cooking up buzz. We were having a great, great discussion on um, going viral, what to do after that, and what does it look like after you've gone viral, and how to curve some of that. Um, let me get me a photo. 
And one of the reasons I do this early is because I don't want to be online. I don't want to be streaming when Curtis goes live with uh, Tachi and Mediascope. So I leave the afternoon for them. Wednesday afternoons, if you want to know what's going on in media tech and pop culture, Curtis is the executive producer or producer. What's your title over there? Uh, and those of you that wanted me to tell you guys, I know because a lot of people ask me, about live streaming and you know this is a serious operation normally i'm in the kitchen with four or five cameras and things like that but if you want to live stream you want somebody behind the scenes uh producing it and i suggest some of y'all do that um get with curtis curtis please drop your link or com uh, in the comments for me because i am uh i actually um, talk to somebody. Well, actually, you know, we did our live stream um, on Wednesday. What I'm doing? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. One and a half cup. I need a half cup now, not a whole cup. I'll just drop that little bit in there and go less on that. I need a half cup now. Um, one of the things that we did, Kurt, when I did the live stream on... When did I do that live stream? Friday? When did I do that? Wednesday. I was like, you know, that was my first time back and trying to produce it and host it. I was like, okay, I'm not trying to do this again. Oh my God, I am not. Um, but I did, I am looking at doing a couple more of those. Of course, you know, my inbox went crazy uh, with people thinking that I was back. Sure, find me here on Facebook, Curtis Brooks Media. Um, so those of you that are trolling, and you want to stream, uh, Curtis is your guy. Even if you take one of his workshops and learn some of the tools, like a lot of the tools that I use, um, I get from watching their production, and they do multi-platform and so forth. All right, so we're going also in with a half, one and a half cups of flour. And then, um, so, and I'm telling you, and there's no reason to do it if you're not going to go big with it. All right, so in this bowl, you're looking at my cookie dough. We're making Aisha Curry soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. And we just added in the flour, and now we need to add in the baking soda. This is mix in, okay, let me see, mix in the egg vanilla. Then add the flour, the baking soda, and the salt. So the flour was one and a half cups. Baking soda is, and I have just a small box of baking soda here. Not the, not the box that I had in the fridge. I went out and got another box. Uh, of which I now need to add a half teaspoon of baking soda. And those of us who rebuke recipes, boy, we've been trying to figure out this daggone baking soda. What in the world is it and why why would why does it why is it required? So I'm gonna get me a photo there of my half cup of baking soda. Then I'm gonna get me a little bit of video there. You guys are watching to see my device again and I'm gonna go and my phone just died. I gotta charge it up. So let me plug that back in. We're going to have to stall for a minute. Hopefully my stalling and talking and chilling with you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. I need another charger. I don't know where my other charger Let me just get this phone on right quick to get a couple more videos. If I get a charger warning on that, then I will. That's really the only thing I have to add. How much salt am I needing? Uh, salt is going to be a half teaspoon of salt as well. So let me pour that into something so I can scoop that up. I'm like, why, why did I open? I hate to adjust this thing. I'll do that while that phone's coming on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta, my dough is doing something here. But definitely, I'm telling you, I am a fan of Mediascope. I love it. All right, so now let's just grab a picture of this. And then we'll plug that back in in the intro. Okay, come on, give me, oh, did I get it already? I don't know what that is. I think I got it, okay. It did capture the picture. Let me make sure. 
And then I'm just gonna get a video dumping that in. All right, let me scoop up my salt here. the exciting part it will be adding in the the cons all right and there's our salt half teaspoon of salt pitcher I should have did three seconds on that one thing, but I didn't. I didn't make sure I had three seconds on that. Alrighty, and then it says, and I just got something all over my cookbook. I guess a good cookbook with food on it is good. Thanks. I always have a great time on Media Scope. Lots of fun and good laughs. Yes. Okay. And hopefully y'all gonna talk about how the, the new phones. Oh my God, the price on new phones. Okay, baking soda, salt, and then the flaxseed mix into crumbly dough forms. Uh, and then, okay, so now I can go ahead and mix this because it doesn't say to add in the chips. So, uh, let's see what we end up here with, guys. All right. My mix feels a lot. So, I don't know what this, again, I don't know what this is supposed to feel like. It feels soft and heavenly to me. But Curtis is a baker, so he'll let me know if uh, I need to do something. Guys, I am not a cook. I'm just a home cook trying out recipes trying to stop rebuking the recipes i have we're cooking today out of aisha curry's cookbook which you can find at your favorite bookstore look like we're getting a cookie dough there guys just I incorporate all of my flour using my spatula here i still see a speck of butter peeking through there i guess that'll be a good cookie trying to get that last little bit down there folded in See that under there? I have some cookie dough. Can y'all see this cookie dough coming to shape here? Look at that. Look at that. We got cookie dough. Patty Patty. We got some cookie dough. Of course, you got to taste the cookie dough, right? Mmm. Now, in tasting the cookie dough, I can definitely tell where the... It's sweet and good. But, um... The darker brown sugar. This will be a little bit darker and a little bit more grittier. All right, now it says um, mix until crumbly dough forms. It won't look like a smooth cookie batter. Gently mix in your chocolate chips. Roll the dough into golf size balls and put on your prepared baking sheets. Um, okay, baking sheets. So at this point now, I need to add in. A cup of, she says, and she goes light. I remember her husband is, hey, Sean, her husband is an athlete. I am not. So she's calling for a cup of chocolate chips. I'm not going to go overboard. Remember, we're not going to rebuke the recipe, so we're not going to add in more or less. We're going to go with a cup of chocolate chips, but we're also going to add in some nuts. I have some um, pecan chips that I'm going to put in there, so... Now we're just going to go with a couple of chocolate chips. And, and one of the reasons you don't want to rebook the recipe is because I want more cookie than I want chocolate chips. Right? So here I'm using these Nestle uh, milk chocolate. You can go with the dark chocolate. And we're going to make, this is going to make 12 small, 12 large cookies or 24 small cookies. We're planning to go with the 12 large. I've got two cookie sheets already prepared with my parchment paper. And then let me get the last picture here, and then we'll fold these in. And there's the chocolate chips. So we're doing a cup of chocolate chips there, guys. And then she also called for... How much? Where's the flaxseed at? Two heaping tablespoons of flaxseed. So we're 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 swapping out her flaxseed for pecans. 
And so I don't think I want to do a cup of pecan because that's not a pecan cookie. Um, but I'm concerned that she only used um, two heaping tablespoons of flaxseed. How much pecans do you think I should use? Maybe a half a cup, maybe... I don't think I should go too heavy on that. I'm gonna go with a third of a cup of pecan. And that's pretty much about the bag, half of the bag there. Don't you think I should do less pecans? Just, you know, a couple of pecans here and there. We'll see. I tell you what we'll do, we'll save the rest of the pecan, maybe, because she decorates her cookies with a with a, a sea salt. Um, I'm gonna decorate mine. Maybe I'll drop some pecans on top. So we're gonna go here again with the, just a, a third of a cup of pecans. And the dog wants to bark on my video. All right, so now this gets folded in. So I wanted to do a little video of folding that in. Okay, that's not a cute video because that takes some hands. All right, so now we're just going to fold this in. Oh, this looks like a good Halloween cookie, doesn't it? With the pecans. Oh, my God. Pecans. I'm from Georgia. We got pecans. Pecans, pecans. What do y'all say? Team pecan or pecans? There's a pecan tree that makes pecans. Look at that cookie dough. Look at that cookie dough. As I hear Patty Betty zipping up her suitcase, <laughs> Patty Betty's leaving me, y'all. I don't want to know what to do without my Patty Betty. This is definitely tight. It said just lightly fold in your, somebody said pecans. Sean, y'all should y'all say down there in Texas? You're Texas, right? Curtis, what do you think? What does it look like to you? I think we got it all incorporated. I think the pecans, I think there's enough pecans in there. I feel like I got a, I feel like my spatula is doing a little bit much. All right. Now I'm supposed to form these in balls, but what I'm going to do, I don't want to get my hands all in it. So what I am going to do is just do a rolled spoon, right? I think that looks good. Mmm. Oh yeah, I can definitely feel that in some ice cream. Hey, Ivan Tips. Ivan Tips. We we're just discussing pecan or pecan. So now, test of time. Test of time. There we go. Using Aisha Curry's The Season of Life, Food, Family, Faith, and the Joy of Eating Well. We're making today her. No, I, I, I did. I, I think I did. Chewy, soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. So now. We have to roll them out. We need to get about 12 large balls out of this. 12 balls out of this. Um, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my one uh, tablespoon to scoop this out. You know, she had a cookbook. Yes. Aisha Curry has a cookbook. She has an entire cooking line um, and so forth. So, my oven is preheated. My cookie sheets are lined Um with the parchment, I'm just gonna take my one teaspoon uh, here and just kind of grab up a ball of cookie dough and just put that in. Knowing that this should make 12, I'm just gonna scoop that out onto the thing. And I'm, I should get six per. So what I'm lining up here, guys, is I'm lining up Patty Betty, huh? uh, my phone picks up everything. Patty Betty is a speakerphone 
conversationer. And I try to tell her this phone picks up everything all down the hall when I'm live streaming on this phone. So I'm just doing some balls here, guys. I'm going to take a picture of that. My six cookies. Um, let me show you guys. So see that? I'm just putting my six cookies on there. I like that there's a little bit of butter still peeking through. Just a little, just slight little hints of butter still in there. And again, I'm just scooping this out, trying to flatten it over there. A lot of, left my lot, it's the millennials. Uh, speak, I know, right? Speakerphone and, and uh, uh, FaceTime, anywhere, anytime. They don't care, honey. All righty. I think they, it's a voyeurism thing. I think they like to be seen and heard. Right? I'm like, when somebody FaceTime me, I'm like, wait a minute. One, I ain't got on no clothes. Two, I'm like, really? You want to see all up and close a person like that? Uh-uh. It's like, give me a break. And then butt dialing, butt dialing and FaceTime, FaceTime, butt dialing. I'm like, wait a minute. It's like, do you know I can see you? So we like we're gonna get more than um, 12 cookies because this is six, this is five, oh, wait a minute, this is six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 right here. These things are gonna be kind of big. Oh, I got some extra cookie dough, y'all. And again, talk about millennials. If, now, freezing this dough, they don't know how to do that. Like, why would I bake all these cookies? I'm about to freeze this dough, honey. Because 12 cookies is enough, and Patty Bates ain't go out of town anyway. Who's going to eat these cookies? <laughs> so there's my next batch of, of cookies. So I'm going to get my oven cam. So I'm going to put both of these in the oven. I'm going to do my oven cam. I'm going to pause y'all for a minute while um, we do that. So basically all I did is I just took my one cup thing there. Curtis, would I help me on the freezing? Should I just freeze the rest of this? Should I go ahead and bake it off? Um... I always hear the Barefoot Contessa and Martha Stewart and Julia Child and all them. Even though Julia Child never really was a baker, she always had bakers on. Um, what is the what would be the condition or, or or if I was to freeze that dough? Let me get the picture of the bottom of this bowl for one thing. That way I can show how much cookie dough I had left. Bake it all. Okay. Well, see, the only thing I'm thinking about baking it all is like this sitting while that's baking. Should I put this in the fridge? Put that in the fridge, and then while those are baking, keep that. Okay, there's my timer. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to put that here for you guys while we wait for the cookies. Give me just a second. Freeze, freeze them and ship them to make. <laughs> okay, give me just a second, guys. Let me reset some stuff and get some of the stuff cleaned up while that's going. And again, I love my little utensils. Like, I've just bought a set of these little dishes. Um, I bought, of course, all my little measuring things. And mind you, yeah, I had to buy this stuff because I was not, I have not been in the kitchen in a long time. Uh, when they come out, Place pecans in the warm center so that stick, so they stick better. Rather, than, okay, fall off. And I bought these. This was a set of five of these. They came uh, already measured. So that I'm just gonna get this stuff over here in the sink. Get that all brushed up while you guys look at these cookies and hopefully my cookies will come out. So I got, like I said, a little bit of pecans left. I'm just gonna put that on there while we finish up our conversation. I'm going to put away some things here. I'm hoping that was enough salt, though. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys. Trying to clean up a little bit. Now the 
question becomes, what do we do with the extra chocolate chip? That is the question. Now that we have chocolate chip and brown sugar in our arsenal, what? That's another Sean. Hey, Sean. We are making chocolate chip cookies. Hey, Eric L. Jackson, what's going on with you? Making some chocolate chip cookies. These are not mine right here. This is a picture. And um, we're making Aisha Curry's soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. And our first batch is in the oven. I'll leave the dough. I'm going to put the dough right here for a second. got to step away for a few minutes. Those cookies are in the oven. There's my dough. Let y'all see that. I'm going to clean up my kitchen. But give me two seconds. You ain't nowhere near getting ready. I got to wash up dishes. I'm back, guys. All right, so you're looking at my cookie dough, and I see I got a battery warning, so let me get this phone back plugged in. There we go, so I don't lose you guys. And this is how much cookie dough we have left, so I guess I didn't make... Either I didn't make the larger, maybe I made a medium cookie because she said it would make um, 12 large or 24 small. So I have 12 in the oven right now. And so I'm guessing that I made a medium because I have dough, some dough left. So let me just kind of, ooh, Jesus. Uh, okay. It's some big cookies. Let me get a little bit of oven can. I don't want to open it, but I need my oven can. Okay. That's a fast cook. It's only been in there. Oh, you know what? I'm looking at this. Is that a minute? I did. Okay. I see. I got the timer wrong. Is that hours? That's hours. What? Why are you? What? Why do you do that? Why are you half in the kitchen, half out, and one? Where 
What's your problem? You trying to find Nisha? Call him, Nisha. What are you coming here whining for? Okay, so it's been in four minutes. Okay, so that's a minute. Okay, it's got about three minutes to go. Now, not three minutes, maybe a minute. Let me see, three. I think I put it in to the timer for 10 minutes, and it said eight minutes, so it's got a minute left to come out. It's definitely brown around the edges, and then I guess it's going to fall, and I'll show you guys in just a second what we're working with here. Interesting. Interesting. I'll move that over a little bit so y'all can see her cookies, my dough, and then you can see my cookie. I kind of feel like mine doesn't have like these chewy ridges. Is this after the cookie falls? Like mine is puffed up. It didn't it hasn't cracked. I was looking for it to crack. Um but they definitely brown. But I, I'm wondering about my chewy. I know it's gonna be chewy, but I'm like, I want that, I want that crack in there. So it just do that after I take it out? Yeah. Come and look, what do you think? It's like a big ball. I don't want it to be hard, I got about a minute. It's about ready, it's ready to come out. She said cook it eight minutes. Once it's brown, take them, take them out and then they're gonna, are they gonna fall? Yeah. Okay. So this is right out of the oven, guys. Look at my cookies. That's right out of the oven. And then I'm gonna let that rest. And we'll probably go ahead and do this other little batch. That's a cookie. Oh my God, it looks so gorgeous. Okay, I can see the little cracking coming. Okay. What did I do? I'm gonna see, can I lift this with the paper? Oh, you know what, Nish? Can I just, should I go ahead and put it on the cooling rack? Get it out the hot pan? Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna, I have a cooling rack here. I'm just gonna, Cause I need to go back in with that extra dough. So I have a rack here. I have a cooling rack. I'll show you guys in a minute. So I'm just gonna take the, lift them up with the parchment paper, slide them onto the rack, and then I can get them off the hot pan. And again, cooking them on the parchment paper, they look good on the bottom. So I don't have that, that bottom where my bottoms look good. So there you go, see my cooling rack? Place them on the cooling rack. And I love on the cooling rack, I love the cooking with the parchment paper because see then the bottom of my cookie, and notice they're not stuck or anything like that. So I'm just gonna sit them here on the cooling rack. And then we'll go ahead and go in, do another, I'm gonna set up another, go ahead and go back into the oven right quick. with another uh, batch. And then Patty Betty can take some on her trip. For she and her friends. All right, so what I'm gonna do again, I had my tablespoon and I'm just gonna grab that. And I'm just gonna take this in just balls, and they look so good. Oh yes, they do. Wait a minute, let me get y'all. Let me get. Let me get out of the way, and I'll let y'all look at the cookies as they cool. Hold on. I'll come over here and do this. I'll take the dough over here, and y'all can look at the cookies. Like y'all, like wait a minute, we don't want to look at that. Let's look at the cookies. There. How about that for an emphatically happy black woman? <laughs> Who knew baking cookies could make her so happy? What do y'all think? Isn't that gorgeous? I tried, this is where, you see when I tried to put the um, pecans on there, they just rolled right off. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the rest. Of it. I think it is gonna give me what is that? Six, twelve, eighteen cookies. And the recipe said 12, 12 to 24. So we're right in the middle with 18. Miami, stop it. You should come check this bowl. Yeah, we're right at 18 cookies. So I'm scraping the bowl now. And I've got five. Could definitely have six more. 18 cookies. What name? Yep, 18. I got 18 cookies, y'all. Scraping the bowl. cookie dough left to eat. <coughs> All right, where's my camera? So that's the size that I use. So I'm going back in with the last cookie batch. And this is the results. All right, so the recipe that I use, or the book that I use, first of all, if you see it, hey, Jonathan, if you're on my timeline, your timeline, a friend's timeline, and you're seeing this video, I'm Yolanda at Dryer Buzz. And I am not a cook, I am not a chef, and I'm certainly not trying to play one on live stream, just trying to enjoy my kitchen a little bit more, my uh, time a little bit more, um, my happiness, and I just um, made some cookies from scratch, and they look good, uh, and I'm pretty sure they're going to taste good, hopefully, but I used, uh, you know, on Wednesdays, we come back in. And we talk about leftovers that we might have made during the week. Yesterday, we did the broccoli challenge because broccoli was the word of the week. All right, you already know. And we made broccoli and beef. And we went to the store. If you want to um, check out the YouTube channel, go to a Dry Bus on YouTube. I've actually pointed my domain over to Instagram at this point until um, I finish working on the web, the new website. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a new website. Um, we have Dryer Bus Eats on Instagram. If you go to Dryer Bus Eats on Instagram or either, anyway, listen, whatever your favorite platform, you guys are on Facebook. So Dryer Bus Eats has a page on Facebook and you can see, we went to the store. We actually talked um, with the produce guy about all the different variations of broccoli there is. And we found the perfect young tender broccoli. Uh, if you've ever been to something that's catered or had, had a chef's cooking, we found the broccoli that they use, that nice young tender broccoli. We made broccoli and beef. Um, that conversation about how to choose your broccoli is out there because everybody don't know, okay? I didn't know it was all that kind of broccoli out there. Um, and one of them is a, is a, a kind of a, a combination between a broccoli and asparagus. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Okay, I don't understand what's wrong with you. I'm trying to talk. You can't talk while I'm talking. All right, my dog is going crazy. Hey, Yate. And so we did the broccoli challenge. So today when we get lit with leftovers, lit with leftovers means either spike up the lemonade or more than likely it means to pair up um, what we made with the leftovers since we don't have to cook. Yeah, the broccoli live, is it, it was about an hour long making that dish, but I put some shorter versions on Instagram as well as YouTube depending on what you want to consume. But go over to the dryer bus page because all the versions are on the dryer bus, dryer, dryer bus, I mean the Facebook dryer bus eats page. 
Every time I get out of his sight, he goes crazy. I see you. Anisha, you need to check to see if he needs to go out. Every time I call your name, he's like, oh, you, did you just did you just close that door? Uh, yeah, he wants to go. So, um, I told him he done got off track. They must be coming in here in the evening feeding him. All right. Sorry, y'all. Dog is like, wait, you keep, she closed her door and you, you're live streaming. I need to figure out what's going on. Um, so on Wednesday, we had uh, our book club and I was like, well, what can we do on Wednesdays? We will pair the leftovers with literature. And so I grabbed my cookbook today. I've been dying to um, make something out of Aisha Curry's cookbook. And I've been talking for two weeks about making these cookies. And I think I better check the cookies that's in the oven. And they spread out. And so we decided we would make her uh, soft and chewy chocolate chip cookies. And that's what we have here. I think the dough came out great. Um, I didn't rebuke the recipe. The only thing we really changed was the flaxseed. Her cookies call for flaxseed. Um, mine rose up a little bit thicker than hers. I don't know if that was the difference in the brown sugar. She called for a dark brown sugar. I used my dark brown sugar already yesterday, so I didn't have enough for a full cup, so I used some light brown sugar today. Um, but I think the cookie is still nice and chewy. Uh, I cooked it on, my, it is, because it's falling apart. Um, I cooked my cookies on parchment paper. I love you. Well, she recommends parchment paper because you get a good, how many times you bake cookies and you get that, that burnt bottom? So, definitely. So, let's pop into that cookie. So, there we go. So, as you can see, hey, Carmen Thompson. So, as you can see, I've got a chewy cookie here. And we, um, she used flaxseed. We added pecans. Um, she may have sifted. Well, I, I questioned the sifting the flour. Remember I said I don't know if I should sift my flour? But, I thought sifting the flour would have given it more of a cake feel. I wanted that density, so I didn't shift the flour. So let's taste it. Mmm, crunchy on the outside, chewy, definitely on the inside. Definitely sweetness is there. Oh my God. I'm not a chocolate chip lover, but the chocolate is there. This is definitely gonna be chewy. I think they need to sit for a little bit, still resting and settling. But I, it's definitely nice and crunchy. Y'all hear that crunch? Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I think the pecans take it over the top. Oh, my God. That's what I thought. Because this, to me, is this airy to you? Whereas I wanted that density. Like her cookies were, were cr nice and cracked. What do you call that? Um, what do you call that cracked? You hear that? <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, Curran, got something coming up too. Mmm. Man, dipping that in some milk. Oh my God. Y'all, that's a cookie there. It's definitely a cookie. So I'm going to pack some of these off for Patty Betty to take on her trip. And it yielded um, 18. And I guess this would be a medium sized cookie. I used my one teaspoon, my teaspoon um, size to scoop them out. I'm really proud of this one right here. Can y'all see that one? Can you see my finger? That one. It almost has the crackling that I want. Mm. I'm amazed I'm sitting here looking at cookies from scratch, y'all. Seriously. This is a pecan chocolate chip cookie. Ingredients, very simple. Uh, one and a half cups of sh uh, flour. Well, I guess I could just, look. let me give you all the recipe again. I don't want to guess at it. So what I'm actually going to try to do is make a couple things out of her cookbook. Um, one third cup of what? One third cup of, uh, of butter at room temperature, and then there was a third cup of butter melted. And I guess that's probably part of it. 
You have the density. They look really good. Thank you. I'm interested. I'm interested, Curtis, in that butter. Maybe that's part of it. Um, I guess. It, I guess you know. There's when you're baking. There's so much that goes into baking, such as the room temperature, um, the oven preheating. The oven was preheated, and I'm. I'm just trying to think of how. Again, like I said, see that crackling she has on hers? That's what I'm talking about. And it could have been either taking mine out earlier or leaving them in a little bit longer. I like these two right here. Could be my oven. I haven't baked in this oven yet. All right, so again, one-third cup of uh, butter, room temperature butter, one-third cup of melted butter, salted. She used unsalted. I use salted. Um, one pack cup of dark brown sugar, one large egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, um, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half teaspoon of baking soda, a half teaspoon of kosher salt, two heaping teaspoons, and this is what we rebuked her recipe. She used flax seeds. <laughs> uh, we use pecans. Uh, and then one cup of the chocolate chip. And then she topped hers off with just some flaky, flaky sea salt um, on top of hers. We attempted to t drop some pecans on top of ours, but they rolled off like Curtis said they would. And I've got one last batch in the oven here. I'm going to leave that one in just a little bit longer and see what happens. Um, it's, it's at the point now where I would have taken these out, so I'm going to leave it in and just get a little bit, little bit crispier and see if I can achieve that um, achieve that crackling that I want on that batch. It's very many, and I'll bring that. In fact, I'll put that batch right there in the middle, and we'll be able to see. So if you had a friend like me, you'd have some cookies for lunch. <laughs> and again, um, lit with leftovers today, we talked about, we talked about some of the trends happening this week. Well, the trend happening this week, the whole Cat Williams saga as he visited. Oh, man, I had salt in that thing. I just spilled what? It's my throat on my shoulder, right? All right, I spilled some salt. <laughs> so um, let me get to do what I got to do with that. Um, we talked about the whole Cat Williams saga, um, what should be done, how to handle that, how do you handle uh, when you go... When you go viral, I'm just checking to see if you guys were look like it was stuck. Um, when you go viral, what that looks like after you go viral, you know what the numbers are gonna look like. Cause it, I'm I'm looking at my own social media because I shared it and and, it, and it's going insane. Uh, my phone has been going crazy with the shares. The shares on that thing was insane. So just imagine on that radio station. I mean, for them being a morning show and trying to attract advertisers. And then they have a day like, a week like this, and then they, if they don't hit that mark again this year, you know, and that's been one of the questions is like, you know, their interviews have not, um, you know, nothing really earth shattering, you know. So what's going to happen when you try to take those numbers, and this goes for anybody out here doing, you know, me media, when you have numbers like that, and then you got to go, you know, pitch that to somebody from now on, your numbers are going to look like they're taking a dive because if you don't have that same amount of traffic next week, it's going to say that your traffic died off 30, 40, 60, 70, 90 percent. You can't sell that, right? You can't sell that. You know, you're going to always have to say, look what we got that day. But people want, will want to know how did you do, how do you do this consistently? And um, if it looks, if in the end, hold on, let me get some water in this cookie bowl before I have to keep scraping it. That's probably what you want, some water. Huh? Get yourself some water. doesn't um, end up in Cat Williams' favor, you know, what, what 
what, I don't know, what happens? What happens at this point? All right, so I'm gonna grab these other cookies out. I let them go a little bit brown. And again, again, they're big. They're, let's see if this one falls. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them from the thing here. I let these stay in a little bit longer. They are definitely brown, a little bit browner. You guys see that, those in the middle there? We're trying to figure out why mine are so airy. Should I have sifted my flour? Oh, this is always good. Oh, it's good. Definitely is good. Here come Petty Betty. You got something to pack it in, take some with you? I'm going to I'm thirsty. So, the butter adds the softness and taste. Yes. Definitely good. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of my cookies. But like I said, I left these in longer. They're definitely brown. It's still soft texture. And okay, see that? That crackling, a little bit of crackling there. A little bit of crackling. So I guess variation on the stove and the time. Because it's definitely, even though these are darker brown, it's still the same consistency. And um, there's a little bit, I would have liked for them to fall just a little bit. I am proud of my cookies. And you know what? On that note, guys, I'm going to get ready to let you guys go. That's not much else I can say except be happy. Be happy about, about something. If you were all up in this situation this week, now is the time to look at those around you and, and see how they're processing this. Who wants to see this thing continue as negative? Who wants to see it turn around as positive? Who wants to be happy? Who wants to be in the kitchen baking cookies as opposed to out there fighting and, and you know, drawing, having weapons or not, you know? Hopefully you have that more of those kinds of people around you. So I hope you guys like the cookie. Again, this is the Aisha Curry Seasoned Life. Uh, it is our book of the week uh, as we get lit with leftovers. The leftovers on yesterday, again, we made, I don't know if I have any left to show you. Hey, babe, did you finish that? Nope. Finish what? I thought you finished off this song. Um, and again, it's leftovers, y'all. Broccoli and beef. We made broccoli and beef yesterday. And I was like, what am I going to make today? And I'm like, you know what? I've been promising and promising and promising to do the cookies. And I got up this morning. And I said, let me go in here and do the cookies. And on that, I'm going to pour. I mean, one last glass for you of my blueberry lemonade. Oh my God, it's so good. Blueberry lemonade made with two lemons, a half a pack of blueberries, a half of a small pack of blueberries, just for the color and a little bit of flavor. Um, this is your natural beverage. Thank you for the inspirational moment. This is your natural beverage. Uh, lemon, two lemons, half a pack of blueberries into um, three quarts, not four. I didn't do a full on four quart, did three quarts. And I'm gonna go and catch some, um, not the news, but whatever's on after the news. I hope everybody have a wonderful day. Get in your kitchen and make some cookies tonight, all right? All right, guys, thanks so much, Sean. Thanks so much, Curtis, for all your great input. And again, guys, if you are looking for a stream team, check out Curtis. He does an amazing job remote producing, remote producing. He produces some amazing shows from his location. One in particular we're going to watch today, tonight, after this, um, in what, about five hours, uh, Curtis will be producing a wonderful show called Media Scope, also hosted by one of our favorite Facebookers. Uh, she was a meerkatter. She was, is a periscoper. And now they are also on uh, Periscope. Hope that one day they're going to come to YouTube. And um, it's called Media Scope. Everything in tech. Let me say tech, media, tech, and pop culture. Uh, so that's Tachi. I usually will share the video. So if you don't catch it on their timeline, you're sure enough catch it on my timeline because I'm always front and center and ready to watch and share and listen. Okay, one last thing. 
this thing that went viral this weekend, I had at least a thousand shares, more than a thousand shares on this negative stuff. Can I get more than three shares on the positive? Can I? That's all I'm asking. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye. And let me put Aisha's book back in. I'll end on her book. I mean, see, that's positive right there. I got my own book, but I'm this today I made something out of the seasoned life with Aisha Curry. Can y'all see the cookies and the book? Wait, let's do it like that. I want cookies and book in there. Do I have cookies and book? Let me know what I got, guys. Alrighty, bye.